Good morning, Rob and Mark from sunny Milwaukee. It's about 11 o'clock, and I am toasty warm. Montage. Buildings. Buildings. Okay, there's Skyline because it's Lake Michigan. That's weird. I have a confession to make. Um, I was wrong. Because I thought it was going to be a bunch of people with Midwestern accents saying stuff like, Oh, don't you know, have some cheese, boy. Oh, that hasn't been at all. In fact, nobody said that. But anyway, I was really wrong about the city. I thought there was going to be not a lot to do. And I thought it was going to be kind of boring, but I was dramatically wrong. Dramatic. It's actually a really nice city. There's not a lot of crowds or traffic. And that also cuts down on the amount of pollution. I, I could eat off of that and I'd be okay. Also, it's got some pretty cool modern art, like that thing. I don't know what it is, but it's awesome. Along with modern art, this place, there's like, okay, I'm going to a museum right now, but like, look. Oh yeah. I'm over a highway right now on a really cool bridge leading to the Whale Museum. There's my dad holding a camera and this, is a highway, and I'm standing over it. Right next to it, there are really weird bushes. Then way far away, there's another bridge. Behind me, there's more highway. There's another really weird bridge, and there's a cool building. And this is Milwaukee. Go to Milwaukee. And I'm walking towards a museum, going to see the sights. My dad's taking pictures, I'm gonna hit him. Oh yeah. And this, my friends, is Lake Michigan. One of the great lakes. And it's freaking huge. Michigan's not a lake. Wisconsin. Well, Rob, I've been thinking about your challenge, and I've been looking out of my hotel window, and in the streets, and on bikeways, which there aren't any because there are no bikes in Milwaukee. It's the last bike in Milwaukee. Take it in. There are no other bikes. I've been looking, and I don't see any more. So, anyway, fulfilled your challenge. So, well met with one bike. Okay, so it's lunchtime, and Mark told me about this great place called the Safe House, which is basically a spy themed restaurant, but it's hidden. And I am currently outside of the International Imports Limited store. Notice the letters in red S A F E H O U S E. I'm here. So the safe house was so cool. And you walk inside and there's a bookcase and you pull a thing and it opens and it's so cool but I couldn't show you because they were monitoring it with video cameras and I didn't want to upset them because I was afraid they might kill me. Water's nice. So I have one goal and one goal, well, I have a few goals, but the biggest goal that I have now that I'm in Wisconsin is to one, find a cheese head hat and two, buy it. And I hope that on Monday I will be able to show you my amazing cheese head hat. My filming looks a little awkward today, it's because I'm using my computer because my camcorder doesn't have the right wire to connect to my laptop, and that's really obnoxious. So... So, the hotel that I've been staying at is the uh, Fister. No mean jokes. And uh, it's awesome for two main reasons. One, because the concierge knows who Eddie Izzard is. Eddie Izzard is on my shirt. He's a god. And two, it has sassy hour. I'm currently on the toppest most floor of my hotel and wow. wow. Well, that's all for me today. I'm gonna leave Cheese Country, but I can only hope that I find a cheese hat. So, now, I came to the wrong floor. So Mark, you need a challenge for tomorrow. My challenge to you is that at the end of your vlog, you are going to wrap up everything that you did, 
uh, tomorrow in Limerick. I will see you sometime soon. Mark, good luck. They even tinted the glass blue.